guys, welcome back to my reaction channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Kimetsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer Season 1 Episode 5. Now guys, in the last episode we started the uh, final selection and they kind of explained that these demons are being held in this forest thanks to that tree or rather its fruit, right? It's similar to garlic for, for vampires, right? Because I made a comparison between that vampires and these demons which is a dope concept. And now we also found out that Tanjiro, right, managed to cut the thickest boulder thanks to that kid Sabito and those kids were ghosts uh, right the previous students that died by this demon's hand so Tanjiro at the very ending of the last episode managed to cut the demon's head off and thus uh, avenge all the previous students and man messed up messed up he like they were all being targeted because of the masks right he knew who their master was considering that the master got him in that forest that was a big ass demon though he was disgusting as hell <laughs> but yeah this final selection is a dope concept that being said I ain't gonna follow on this that much if you enjoy my reactions feel free to share subscribe like leave a comment ring the bell for notifications guys follow me on instagram join my discord server and my patreon page we're off for the do man let's jump right into this reaction oh, let's go okay we're gonna skip the recap because he managed to cut him clean off and now my own steel okay Oh, this is his master, Tanjiro's sensei. Because the demon's dying right now and they're showing us this. And we know that this guy caught him, so... Yo, he was really hunting him. Yeah, 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 I think... Yo, okay. Urokodaki. Oh, he reminded him... Oh, he's hurt. He's bleeding. He's sad. Boy crying. That's what disgusting looking hand. What a sad scent. He's like comforting him. Yo, what the? <laughs> he's crying. And he's holding his hand and he... He finally rejoined his brother. Damn, that's sad. So you're telling me even though this demon devoured so many children, so many demon slayers, he was a kid. At the very beginning himself because he was bit just like Tanjiro's sister and was turned into a demon. Didn't even know what was going on. He killed his brother then cried about it because where's my big brother? And then eventually he even lost his memories of his big brother and all that. And now in his final moments, Tanjiro slicing his head clean off reminded him of Udo Kodaki. I think the, the sensei's name is right with the mask. And he had a similar moves, he knew he was done, and in those brief last moments, he remembered who he was before all of this. And Tanjiro smelled it on him, the sad scent, and I don't know how, but he knew to grab his hand, because that's what he wanted before from his older brother, who he already devoured. But this is sad, bro. I mean, he killed a lot of kids, but damn, so when you t get turned into a demon, you're just mindless you don't really think about the casualties you're not human anymore but now in his death he remembered that damn bro that's kind of deep they could move on knowing that that monster was gonna keep killing <laughs> Good question. Yeah, he's just mindless. Yo, can he even get to them? I love the kimono though. It's clean. Wait, isn't this the tree? Yeah, that repels them. Yeah, I think this is like garlic to them. I think they explained. Oh! 
Yo, do you notice the kid with the yellow kimono, bro? I said it in the beginning. He looked clean as hell, bro. His drip, his hair, everything. I was like, yo, this kid's gonna be strong as hell because that back then I thought they were gonna fight each other. But yeah, he survived. So he is gonna be important. Oh, and the little girl, she also has a thing. Okay, okay. Yeah. あの時、俺が気絶なんてしたから。体の寸法を測り、その後は階級を刻ませていただきます。オッケー。クロウズ。今から皆様に活害ガラスをつけさせていただきます。活害。What's that? What the hell is wrong with you? Yo! Okay, bro, you're gonna get your sword in 10 to 15 business days, bro. Calm the hell down. Why the hell, bro, this little girl didn't even flinch. Did you see that? He grabbed her by the hair. He was like, I'm gonna, right? And she's like, like, she, it's like she's not even there, bro. What the, these girls are creepy as hell. Demon Slayer's sword. Color changing katana. Okay, he's saving her. あ、この子から手を離せ。おお、he's Yeah, okay. <笑>五人も生き残ったのかい。優秀だね。<笑> What did she eat his master? Nesco! Yeah, she was asleep! That's crazy. She was hibernating. Gosh, he's probably glad he made it. Yeah, man. Oniniwa, Ixka Shuringar. Kekijus to you, Tokshuna Jususka Oniwa, Ino no Onida. Okay. Kongoa, Sonoyo, Onitomo Tataka Ukotoni Nardaro. Sono Monotashtono Tataka Yua, Kurema de Ijo, Nikon Nango Kiomer. Interesting. Cause she can't eat anybody, right? If she eats anybody, they both die, so it's dope that she can find a substitute in sleeping. I mean, this guy looks cool, the design. Kamado Tanzro wa ore desu. Naka e douzo. Kore ga Nichirin tou da. Ore ga utta katana da. Ano, ocha iremasu kara naka e... Nichirin tou no genryo wa... He does not care. Taiyo ni ichiban chikai yama de to... He仕事をする家はそういう子が生まれると縁起がいいって喜ぶんだぜ。おお、そうなんですか。すいませんでした。はい。これは刀も赤くなるかもしれんぞ。な、鱗だき。ああ。They did say that the blade changes colors, right? That kid said it. So what's up with that? Does the blade tell you what kind of fighter you are or something like that? They just mentioned fire. But I'm pretty sure when he wielded that sword, it was like water, so I I'm confused. <laughs> it was blue, right? So, so, Nuite Mina. Nichirin Toa. Betsme Irogawari no Katana to itena. Oh, wait, that's black. That's cool. What does that mean? Kuroina. Eh? 
黒いとなんか良くないんですか、yeah. 北西の町へ向かえそこでは少女が消えている So he's getting missions now かまど炭治郎心してかかれ鬼狩りとしての最初の仕事である Yo! 最初の仕事 Okay, my man, getting assignments now. Yeah, that's it. Bro, so now that he's been upgraded to a real demon slayer, he got his own sword to turn black. That's kind of ominous. Bro, like they said, it's not that often. So I'm assuming he's gonna be special. This kid is gonna be special, right? And、uh, now he got his first assignment through that crow who can apparently talk. What's up with that kid getting a sparrow, bro? But <laughs> I'm still stuck on that. Okay, they gave us a lot of explanation, not a lot of action this episode, but they like kind of laid it all down for us the foundation of this series, like what are the rules here and there, right? So I'm kind of excited. They even talked about demons having like special powers or some shit, right? His sister being able to sleep it off instead of eating humans, that's how she recuperates and all that. So yeah, this, this anime is definitely intriguing, but the drip is insane, the design is insane, animation insane, right? I really, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. But yeah, so next episode he's going on a mission in a town where little girls are disappearing. It's probably a demon, let's be honest. Also, we got a glimpse of a guy saying, My children have increased by the number of five because five of them or four of them have passed this first selection. So, final selection and first selection. So, very interesting. Who the hell was that? Right? A lot of foreshadowing, I believe, is happening in front of my own eyes, but I'm not really getting all of it. But I'm still enjoying this new journey.、Uh, we're at episode five already, finished it, episode six next. So, yeah, I'm here for it. That being said, I ain't gonna blow on this that much. I really enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe, love you, enjoy, and bye.